The Childhood of Jesus Chapter 212 The Child and James Forget to Pray Joseph now said his usual table prayer and blessed the food and then asked the little child if he had also prayed. Here the little child smiled again and said to James, Say, now we are going to catch it, for we have both forgotten to ask the blessing and to give thanks and have already eaten off the fish. You speak now as well as you can, otherwise we are sure to be punished again and will have to fast a bit. And James, somewhat embarrassed, answered, Dear Father Joseph, I ask for forgiveness. For this time, along with my Jesus, I have really forgotten to pray. When Joseph heard this from James, his face took on a somewhat threatening look, and he stated, Since you have forgotten to pray, you can also forget to eat until evening, and in the meantime you can now go for a little walk out in the open. At this the little child smiled at James and said, Well, there we have it. Did I not say a little while ago that we would have to fast? But wait just a little longer. I want to speak a few words with Joseph first. Perhaps he will relent a bit as concerns the fasting until evening. And James said in a low tone of voice, Lord, you do what seems best to you, and I shall follow your example. Thereupon the little child asked, Joseph, are you really serious about that? And Joseph replied, Yes, of course, for whoever does not pray, he shall not eat either. At this the little child smiled once more and said, Now, that is what I call being strict. See, if I were as strict as you now are, a great many who still eat today, although they did not pray, would have to do penance by fasting. I really would like to hear from you for once why and exactly to whom I should pray. And then I would also like to find out from you just exactly to whom you pray in your prayer and to whom poor James should have prayed. Here Joseph replied, To the Lord God, your holy Father, must you pray, since he is holy, most holy. And the little child retorted, You are certainly correct there, but the unfortunate part of the matter is that you just do not know the Father of all glory to whom you pray, and you will not recognize this Father for a long time because your old habitual blindness hinders you therein. The little child then said to James, Let us go outside now, and you will see that out in the open one can also get something to eat without prayer. Thereupon the little child went outside, with his James, and did not allow himself to be detained. Chapter 213 Joseph repents his mistake. When the little child and James were outside, Mary said to Joseph, Listen, my dear husband and father Joseph, sometimes you are really a bit too strict towards the divine child. What could one otherwise expect of a normal child aged two and one-third years? Who would subject him to such stern discipline? But you are as strict in your discipline against the child of all children as if he were of a heaven-only-knows ripe age. See, that seems very unreasonable to me. Even though you love him beyond measure now and then, you are sometimes so strict with him as if you had no love towards him at all. This tone of Mary immediately found an echo in Cyrenius, Jonathan, Talia, Eudokia and Maronius Pillar. And Cyrenius in addition protested to Joseph, Friend, sometimes I really do not know what to make of you. First you teach me to recognize the most high deity in the little child himself right after which you again demand of the little child that he should worship a god. Tell me, 
how does that harmonize? If the little child is a divine being himself, how then should he pray to a god? Does your demand not seem a bit absurd to you? I will make the supposition the little child were not what I now quite without question recognize him to be and always worship him as such. Then I would say that coming from a true friend of children your request seems a bit foolish. For who will demand a serious prayer of a child nine quarter years old? For that reason you will surely see my point of view when I as a pagan say to you Friend, you must be struck with a threefold blindness if you are not always able to esteem the little child at his true worth. Truly, this time I certainly will not eat a bite if the little child with his James will not be present here at my side. Is it not even ridiculous if you entreat the Lord God for a blessing upon the food and then order the same Lord and God away from the table because he did not pray according to your habitual manner? That is surely why the little child also asked you just to whom he should pray and to whom you pray and also to whom James should have prayed. But as I see it, you do not seem to have noticed what the little child wanted to tell you therewith. These quiet to the point remarks went straight to Joseph's heart, and he went outside to get the little child as well as James. But there he called James and the little child in vain, for both had quickly gone away to where no one knew.